What's going on guys, Average Tech Guy here. And yes, this is the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex, the 13 inch model. And today we're gonna be talking about this device. So let's check it out. So before I get into my standard what this is and what it's all about. Let me give you these specs. It comes with a 13.3 inch full HD QLED touchscreen. Now that's a mouthful. So what does that mean when you say QLED? It just means that this screen is going to look extremely good. The colors are gonna pop. Everything's gonna be fluid. It's a great looking screen. The average consumer just wants to know, is this thing gonna look good? And the answer is yes. It has a core Intel i7 in it, eight gigs of memory, and 512 gigs of storage in here. There's an SSD built in. Now in the box, when you actually open this thing up, you're gonna get the actual device itself, the computer. You're gonna get the charging brick. You're gonna get, um, it has a tool that will allow you to change out the tips of your S Pen, and it comes with extra S Pen tips. Gonna get the USB to USB type C adapter and you get your normal instructions and that is about it. But when you actually get this thing open and you get it out to actually use it, it's a completely beautiful device. So just to do a little real estate on this device, if you turn it around, you got speakers over here on this side. Speakers are tuned by AKG. You get your slot for your micro SD card, you get a USB type C connector over here, and you get a dedicated headphone jack right there. Flipping it around to the opposite side, you get your S Pen, which is located right there. Perfect, blue, great device. You get two Thunderbolt 3 outlets right here beside that. You get your power on off button right here, and then down here you have another set of speakers. Now, one of the main things that you really want to talk about is the ability to open up one of these one handed. And this kind of lacks that ability because you go to open it with one hand and it basically just slides back. So you're going to have to use two hands. But once you get it kind of cracked, you pop it open. And there you go. It reveals that nice blue backdrop and has your fingerprint scanner right there. I just log in by touching it and you are good to go. It has a front facing camera that's rated at about 720p. You still get a good HD picture and that's really good considering most of us are working from home and we're now using Zoom and other platforms to conduct meetings and things of that nature. But the camera front facing really comes in handy. Now, when you're actually looking at that keyboard, it's a very well spaced keyboard. The keyboard experience is a really good experience on here. The typing is nice and fluid. My hands are pretty decent sized hands, but they still fit on the keyboard. And, and you're pressing the keys as you're doing that. Everything feels good. They give you a nice punch back and everything looks good with your typing. No lag, nothing like that. It also has backlit keys that can be adjusted to three separate settings. So with your function, that's brightness off, 30%, 60%, and 100%. So there's no in between. You either get the 30, 60, or 100. And I tend to keep it right here about the 60% just to uh, give you that backlight. And then it actually will go dim in just a few seconds. And those settings can be toggled for more or less time. But after you take some time not typing or touching on anything, they will eventually fade out on their own and then you'll conserve that battery and you won't have to worry about those keys staying lit up too long. Now, like we said, we're not gonna get into all those numbers, but for the average consumer, yes, screen is perfect, looks good, nice, crystal clear. You're gonna be able to see all those colors, every array, everything is wonderful about this screen. There's no bad part about this screen. And with its 20 hour battery life, you get a full day's worth of entertainment or productivity while you are on the go, even with this high resolution screen. And as I mentioned, speakers are actually tuned by AKG. When you turn those on and you're listening to your things and I'll let you hear just a little bit. The issue that's going on right now, it may be kind of hard to get some of these things. So if I drop a link below, 
do not hold it against me if it says it's going to be May before you can get it. Um, I've even ordered some things and said May. and I. But as you're listening to your, your entertainment and you're watching your videos and listening to your music on this device, it, everything sounds good, sounds crystal clear. There are no issues whatsoever. Now, when you talk about Samsung, you know that they had to actually throw in some of their latest firmware, software, hardware types of things to make this actually feel like you're using your Note 10 or your S20 Plus. They, they had to make it feel like you were using that device. So what they actually did was they built in the PowerShare feature. So all you have to do is basically turn on that function. It's F11. Wireless PowerShare comes on, and then I'm going to take my phone, which is my S20 Plus, and I'm going to lay it down, and you can see it starts to charge up right there on the actual touchpad. So Samsung had to add that just to give you that note feel, that S20 feel, so you can actually feel like you're at home while you're using this. And they brought that technology over here with the dedicated uh, fingerprint sensor, and it's just all good. It's all a go. So one of the best features about this device, guys, is the actual S Pen and the usage of it. Now, when you detach this thing, you get your normal Samsung apps, which actually pop up right over here on the side of the screen. You can use any of this stuff. You have live message, you have screen write, you have smart select, and basically you just tap those. It's gonna take a picture of the screen. If I wanna actually draw on it, make a doodle, do anything, it works. There are no issues. The S Pen is actually extremely fluid. It works really well, especially when you're in those apps where you're actually taking notes and if you want to draw. And the air gestures actually do come in handy sometimes. So like say you're right out in front of it and you want to turn your volume down and you just hold the button and you swipe down and your volume goes down. And if you want to turn it back up, you just do the opposite, just swipe back up. But these gestures really come in handy, especially when you're sitting right out in front of it and your S Pen is to your side. You just take it, turn it up, and you're good to go. And really, this is a little gimmicky. It's just something to say that you have. It's nothing that you want to just go out and, oh, I got the S Pen, the latest S Pen. You know, it, it's just, it's gimmicky. So just take it with a grain of salt. Another facet of this device is the actual tablet mode. Now, I know this is a computer and it's for productivity, but one of the best features is the ability to use this in the actual tablet mode. So I'm going to leave the S Pen out and we're just going to fold this thing back. And basically, once you fold it back, it goes into that tablet mode on its own. Now, you can toggle that switch if you want it in just regular mode. You don't have to have it in the tablet mode. Now, this mode actually comes in handy when you're watching YouTube, when you're watching movies on Netflix, when you're actually trying to just take notes or draw or do something like that. This mode comes in handy. And this hinge is no slouch. Look at this hinge. I'm going to show you right here. Hinge. Bring it down, still there. 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 It stays almost all the way down. So you get tons of flexibility in the angles that you can achieve. Now, the only thing you may do is scratch that bottom up. So we don't want to keep it in that mode for too long, but it's a really good thing to have because that hinge is one of the best that I've seen on a computer by far. Now I know I've watched some reviews on this device and some people said that the actual hinge was floppy and it didn't do its job. It must have been a bad unit because I have no issues with my hinge whatsoever. And gaming on this device is also a big plus. The graphics look really good, and this is one of my favorite games, Asphalt 9. I always play it on my other devices, but the handles on the Xbox controller work really well. It's a really good game to test this out on because of the high-speed graphics and the great sound. It's, it's just the awesome gaming experience on this computer. So this device is extremely fast. It works well and the screen is beautiful. Speakers sound good. You have the S Pen, you have the tablet mode. The only problem with this device is it's a fingerprint magnet. 
it is going to show fingerprints all day long. So just keep you a terry cloth close by because that's the only issue that I've had out of this device. I've been using it for a little while now and I really enjoy the ability. And, and, and guys, this is my first Windows device in probably 10 years. And this is the one I had my eyes on ever since October of last year. It's the one that really kind of piqued my interest just because I'm a Samsung fan and I can connect this to my phone. I can share the screen. I can wirelessly charge. I can still keep my S Pen. I can still draw when I get ready. I got tons of options of things that I would like to do. And this device makes it all happen. So is the screen good? Big check. Are the speakers good? Big check. Is the usability good? So usability is keyboard function as well as the hinging and the actual ports. Everything checks out except you're gonna need some type of hub if you wanna do multiple tasking things. They do give you the onboard USB to USB type C device. You do get that in the box, but anything else you're gonna have to get a USB type C hub. But that's not a big deal because you can get those for little or nothing right now. It comes with Thunderbolt 3, big check, double check. And this thing is really portable and you get two modes. What more can you ask for? Color array is great. The blacks are really black and this is just a custom background. I'll show you a background that actually comes with the device. We'll personalize this just so you can see. We'll swipe and there are gestures built into this device, but that's the actual background. Now it's gonna be hard for you guys to tell, um, but here it's very vibrant, beautiful. The colors, you know how Samsung does with colors. So. It's a great device. Only thing is, I wish we could have dropped the price on this just a little bit. But in this world, you have to pay to play. So I paid, I played. Great device, big thumbs up Samsung for putting this one out, finally. So if you wanna know more about the actual usage and the programs and things like that, hit me up below. I will try to make dedicated videos for those who want to know those things. But until next time, hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Please be sure and give me that big thumbs up and thank you guys for all the support that I get out there. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.